my, my journey with the connection started at work, basically, because I had an apprentice who wound up being a mutual friend of Ron and I. His name was Ronaldo. I invited Ronaldo to come out, but he's not here today. Ronaldo said, uh, you know Ron Gray. He's got a church. I said, oh, really? Yeah, OK, cool. I'll go to his church. He said, well, call him up and talk to him about it. I said, OK, cool, cool. I called Ron. He said, yeah, come on over to the house. We have church in the basement. And I said, in the basement? <laughs> come on, man. I'm not going to church in your basement. Are you serious? What's, what's, what's that about? Um, but I did go just because he was my brother and I decided to support him. And I am glad that I went because that began my journey with God. And I began a new relationship with Christ. Um, I was not anywhere near being a Christian. I was like, that's the slave master's religion. I'm too smart for that. It's not for me. I'm not going there. I know way more about other religions than just this one. It's only, it's only been around for 2,000 years. I had a million excuses about why I was not going to follow Christ and be a Christian. And the reason why Ron was able to talk to me is because in my, when I talk to people, I say you can't be a scholar if you're only reading from one, one book. You know, so don't try to have a conversation with me because you don't even know what I'm talking about. But Ron's background is in, he, he was a teacher before he became a preacher, I believe, right? And so he was able to talk to me from an academic standpoint. And all the arguments that I had with him, he was able to give me something in return and to justify what he was talking about and to have that discussion with me on many, many levels. So that's why I was able to stay. I didn't stay all the time. I had to leave every now and then because I was like, man, this dude's still in the basement. When are you going to get out of this basement? It, it was hard. And the, the thing about it is nothing really made a difference. Um, I would go, and whether I went or whether I didn't go, there wasn't any difference in my life. You understand what I'm saying? It, it just, everything stayed the same. Things just continued to be random. And I was good for the most part. I was cool. And I felt like, what do I need it for? It's not really doing anything for me. So last year, I issued God a challenge, basically. And I was like, you know, if you really want me to be a Christian, I need to see something. I need to know something. I need to have something concrete happen in my life that's going to say, this is the direction you should go. So not to really get into the story, but last year was one of the worst years of my life. <laughs> and sometimes before you can listen and before you can hear, you have to be still and you have to have everything quiet. So last year I, I was... I don't, I don't even know how to tell you, but I, I got locked up. I lost my freedom for a second. Um, I lost my house. I lost my car. I lost my job. And I wound up living in one of my friend's vacant apartment houses with nothing but me and my dog and quietness because there was nothing there. He didn't have a, no cable, no TV. The, the radio quit working. So I'm sitting there in an empty house, jacked up, because my life has just fallen totally apart. And the dog is looking at me, and I'm looking at the dog, and I'm like, okay, wow, all right, man, I, I am sorry, I am sorry for messing with you. I hear the answer loud and clear. My life does not have direction, and I need a purpose. I need to get refocused on what's right, and what I'm trying to do, and what I'm living for. All right. So I accepted God into my heart. I confessed with my mouth and accepted with my heart on February 6th, and I got baptized. And that was because God and Jesus offer a means for my salvation, and they give my life purpose and focus. Fast forward to a year later today, and all of last year is gone. Right. Everything has been taken care of. I am working again. I'm back in my house. God my five hey! and, and everything is, is renewed. And, and I don't know how to explain to you just how miraculous that is. Today is a day of miracles. All right. Because we have gone from the basement and what you are seeing today is the realization of a dream. Right. It is something that is, I have been there 
for a long time, and to see this today is truly something amazing. And not only is that the testimony, but my own personal testimony is that in the course of a year, my life has been changed. And I am thankful today for the peace that comes from knowing where my salvation is and having a relationship with God. Amen. Amen.